Welcome to Outdoor Travel Channel. Are you guys hungry? Well, it's Traeger Day, so let's get to cooking, everyone. Hello, everyone. This is Rob, and today is, yes, it is, Traeger Day. And today is kind of a simple day. Uh, I have uh, some um, ribs I'm going to cook up, so I'm going to do some 3 2 1 ribs, but I don't have any apple juice. But I have cranberry peach juice and I was thinking hmm that might be yummy and I'm also gonna use oh I think they call it moo cow uh, rub or something um, so yeah we're gonna be a little different this time so today is on, on the Traeger is uh, three two one ribs using cranberry juice it's actually cranberry peach so yeah it should be different. Let's get started. Okay guys, today I'm using a uh, St. Louis style pork spare rib. So that's it right here. And uh, I had um, a couple of these and I just have one left. So I thought I'd just whip this up for dinner for me and Sherry. So let's get this unpackaged and get to work. Okay, so the way this works is three, two, one ribs is three hours of smoking, two hours of cooking sealed in a... Uh, tin foil and that's why I add my juice and the last hour is kind of glazing so yeah three hours smoking two hours cooking one hour glazing so it's an all-day event so uh, uh, I'm actually starting this off around 11 30 in the morning afternoon and it'll be done for dinner so yeah so let's get uh let's, the first thing we're gonna do is coat this with some uh, mustard with just a sauce and uh, a little bit of juice <laughs> right off the bat. And then we're gonna put our favorite rub on there. So let's get started. All right, guys, so we got the rub on, mustard on, and uh, anyway, it should be interesting. Um, so I got to turn my smoker on on my uh, trigger. Uh, I'll just turn it on smoke setting only, and uh, I'm using cherry today. So anyway, uh, it will be three hours of that, so we'll just get that started. We'll do a couple of sneak peeks, and then in three hours, we put it in for two hours of... Uh, of actual cooking but we're gonna get it nice and smoky and cook in all those flavors and you probably notice at the back of my uh, ribs I put some slits in it to try to help some of the seasoning get into the meat so here we got uh, the trigger all fired up uh, clean my grills I like to use a pan grilling and uh, coat my grill okay we got our meat ready she's uh, not quite fired up but I don't mind the smoke because that's what I'm trying to do so there she is and uh, let's get her in there. She's all fired up. You can hear her burning real good. And we're going to shut her down. Put the, not shut her down, but actually put the lid down. And let her go for three hours. And see what she looks like. Yeah, that looks good stuff. Yum. Okay, so it's been about three hours. So we're going to go out and, and uh, take a peek at our yummy goodness out there 
And then I've laid out some tin foil, three layers thick, and I'm going to have to seal this with all the uh, with the juice and all the stuff. So uh, let's go get it. So I just put clover honey on this and brown sugar lightly. And uh, I would have shown this, but I had a little camera problem. But yeah, here she is. Now it's time to add about a third a cup of cranberry peach juice. <laughs> yep, normally people use apple, but this worked good. Now I'm just folding the top and then sealing the ends just to make sure nothing spills out when it's cooking. So we've got this thing all ready to go. We've turned up the temperature to 275. And uh, so I'm going to let it cook for two hours, simmering in the juice and the uh, honey and the and by the way, I don't put as much uh, brown sugar on as others. I've seen others really put it on heavy. I like to put it on a little lighter. I don't like, like it too overly powerly sweet. <laughs> but anyway, so we'll do this for two hours. And then uh, after that, we're going to pull it out and uh, glaze it with uh, honey barbecue sauce. And then we're going to let it glaze for an hour in the Traeger at the end to get a nice little shiny, I don't know, kind of, <laughs> I don't know, a gooey glaze on it. It'll be really good. So it's time to pull this after two hours in the trigger. Uh, what we're going to do is pull it out, take it out of the package, then we're going to coat it with uh, lots of uh, barbecue sauce and go from there. Okay, so we're getting ready to open this up. You need to be really careful because there's going to be steam and everything in here. So uh, be careful. <laughs> That's all I can say. And we're going to take it out of here. And then we're going to coat it and then get it back in the trigger for an hour. Here's, here's a peek of what it looks like inside. Nice and juicy. And what we're doing now is we're going to pull it out of there and then uh, try not to make a mess. <laughs> and take it from there. So I'm using honey barbecue sauce and I put it in a bowl and I'm going to start spreading it all over this puppy. So to keep the video from getting too long, here's the finished product. After an hour, we cut it all up. It has really nice smoke ring around it. You can see the red around the edges. And uh, I'll um, move these around a little bit so you can get a look at them. They're super tender. They did come off the bone very easily. Uh, I prefer kind of the baby back ribs, but these came out really good. Uh, these are a little more fatty, these uh, St. Louis style, but man, they're really, really good. And we're happy with it. And yes, you can use cranberry peach juice. So thank you for joining us on Traeger Day making 321 ribs. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate it. Till next time, bye now.